what's up Cal gang? All right, so we got this problem here. So let's just get started, right? We have the circuit, I'm sure you've analyzed it already. So let's get started with part A, right? Part A wants us to find the current here. So we're looking for the current in this part, right? The current in resistor R. So we know that there's the current of six amps here, and it splits off here, it goes four amps, and then there's gonna be some current in this, right? So we're trying to find the current through R. So by Kirchhoff's laws, we know that I is equal to whatever goes in, so six goes in, and then four goes out, so it's gonna be six minus four, and it's gonna be two amps. This is what goes through that, right? Because four amps plus whatever's in here, two amps, has to equal six amps. So we have two amps. So part B, there's part B asking the resistance, right? Okay, well we know resistance, it's pretty easy. But let's go ahead and figure it out anyway, right? So we know that, let's go ahead and do the, the whole loop thing, right? So if we start here and we go around the loop, right, we're gonna have a voltage of 28 volts, and then as we go through each resistor, before we reach the, the battery again, we have to have zero volts. So let's go ahead and present that. So we're starting out point here, right? Let's say right here, we have 28 volts, right? We have 28 volts, and we're gonna go around the circuit. So this, the, amp, or the current is going this way. So it's gonna go through this resistor. So it's gonna lose voltage here at the three ohm resistor. And then it's gonna go here, and it's gonna lose voltage at this resistor. And then it's gonna be equal to zero, right? We just go through the loop and it's equal to zero. So we know what this is, because uh, V is equal to IR, we can say 28 minus IR, so I is 26, six amps, resistance is three, and then we know that here V is equal to IR, so we know V is, or v is equal to IR, so we know the current here, like we found, is two amps, so two, and then resistance is what we're trying to find, is equal to zero. So here, if we move everything over, you're gonna get that uh, negative two R is equal to negative 10. So then you're just gonna find that resistance is equal to five ohms. Nice. So part C, what is part C asking? Uh, the unknown EMF, right? So let's go ahead and do that again. Yeah, we're starting now with 28. So we're gonna start 28, and then we're gonna go here. And because we're going in the positive side of the, the battery and leaving the negative side, we're gonna draw the current. And then, we're gonna go here and we're going against the current. So because we're going against the current, we're gonna add this time. It's because if you're going against the current, you're gonna add a voltage increase. So current, uh, four amps, times resistance, six amps. And then we're gonna keep, can finish the circuit, go up through this resistor. So we found that I is equal to two. It's gonna be minus two, and then the resistance is five. And all of this is gonna be equal to zero. If you do the math on this, you're gonna get epsilon is equal to 42 volts. Nice. So part D is saying, uh, if the circuit is broken in X, then what is the current and resistance R? So we're saying that all of this doesn't exist now, right? Because if this is broken, then it's not gonna have any charge through it. So then we're just looking at this, and we don't know what I is yet, because I is gonna change if we get, it, get rid of one of the batteries. So let's do the whole circuit again, right? So let's do 28 volts, and then we're gonna go around. So this is gonna be IR, but we don't know what the current is anymore. But we know that all of this is gonna have the same current because it's in series. So it's gonna be I times resistance is three for this guy. And we're gonna go up here and we're gonna go through this resistor, so it's gonna have I, but then it's resistance, we know is the resistance is gonna be five is equal to zero. So if you do this, it's gonna be negative eight I is equal to 28, or negative 28, and you're just gonna get that I is now equal to 3.5 amps. So there you go, that's how you solve this kind of problem. Um, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one guys, peace.